So it starts with a night in Chicago. Lots of kids have been killed. Innocent kids. And that's the problem that we have. That these young kids now these days just shoot just to shoot. Not knowing what's the consequence. And that the person that they were trying to kill were never shot. Yes, the problem does start at home. I believe that if the community gets together and do what they're supposed to do, which is call the cops when they see something, not to be afraid to make that phone call. As you guys see right now, this ambulance is on its way. Hospital. Another victim shot in Little Village. Every night, and even in the day, throughout the day, you could smell the gunpowder. These rival gangs just seem not to care. Retaliation after retaliation. They do not stop. You see, just not long ago, right off 290, the expressway, a young little girl was shot while driving westbound with her dad and mom. She was rushed to McNeil Hospital when later that night was transported to another hospital. I'm telling you, these young kids, these young guys have to stop. They have to put the guns down. And of course, this starts from home. Mothers and fathers need to talk to their kids. So this right here, guys, this happened during the pandemic. The Gansett 26 had to protect their neighborhood from looters. If they were not united, their stores would have been broken into. So they all had to get united and protect their community. They're mad. They're mad. And they would not loot in their own neighborhood. Now on the other side of the Latin Kings, they were protecting their side as well. This right here is still the Gangster 26 side, but I will show you what was happening on the other side of the land. This right here is the Latin King side. They're protecting their side as well. As you see, they believe there's an intruder coming in right now to loot. So they begin to chase them. But you could hear a young lady saying, stop, stop, that is my brother. So they do, but they still approach that car. Check it out. So you guys see this park right here is Petrosky Park. In the whole little village area, there's only two park districts. Petrosky Park's been around forever, but on December 2014, Avellita Park is an impressive 21 and a half acre park and little village neighborhood located on the 2800 South Sacramento Avenue. It occupies a former brownfield called Celotec. In reference, a former industrial complex 
that had been polluted and denigrated the site. Like I said guys, before there was only one high school in the whole little village area which was called Farragut. Everyone in the whole little village area, the kids that were graduate would be forced to go to that one high school. The Latin Kings had that high school on lockdown. So what happened to the other kids that would come from the other side of the neighborhood? They will end up or be forced to drop out due to the gangs. People will walk, the kids will walk to school. They'll get chased, they'll get shot to where a point that the parents didn't want them to go to high school anymore. So they had no choice than to protest for a high school on the other side of the neighborhood. It was successfully done. They had accomplished their mission. And yes, they ended up building them their high school, Little Village, on 31st and Costner. You see here, this officer is on this corner protecting it. Larry Lightfoot had put an order saying that this gun violence needs to stop. In every other corner, there's a patrol car just waiting to hear gunshots, ready to approach the gunman. We're flying to another corner so you guys can see that there's another officer over here patrolling as well around the perimeter ready for this bloody night to begin this right here ladies and gentlemen is just a short clip just to show you that in little village is very dangerous and if you do choose to come be careful because the gangs are out here ready to attack.